Earlier I showed you what the squash ladybug larvae look like. I'll give you another picture here. And you can see it looks like a spiny, ugly, although really rather soft kind of creature. Okay, and then it looks like it's right next to an adult form. Oh, that is really cool. That's a bonus right there. So you see the squash ladybug as a larvae to the left and an adult to the right. I'm not going to stop right now and try to examine adult male or female, but I come over here to take a look at the damage that the adults started to do on this pumpkin plant, and I want to go ahead and put a stop to them. I've got some neem oil and spray. First, I'm going to get my blue bucket and just dump these in. It wasn't too long ago. I was dealing with Japanese beetles, and now I got these things, and... They feel kind of slimy, actually. They don't feel like a ladybug should. And not all ladybugs are beneficial for the garden, as you can see. You can get the, enough of them together in a small group, and uh, they can do quite a bit of damage. They seem to claim their own leaf, one per one individual squash ladybug per leaf here. Oh, okay, I stand corrected. We got two on this one. And yeah, so that one's actually already dead. So then I've got my neem oil, a little bit of dish soap mixed up in here. Now check underneath these leaves too for the larvae. They were mauling up the cucumber. I first showed this this bug in. See, yeah, there's another one there. That's a larvae. Seems like the larvae hang on the underside. And I just go ahead and spray the leaves down like that. Help this pumpkin survive a bit. Because over here, you see how big this pumpkin plant is too. That's a bottom piece. Over here we've got one pumpkin. Still seems a bit immature. And in here somewhere, there's a second pumpkin. I know it. Yeah, right down in here. That's pretty cool because this is growing completely by accident. Pumpkin must have um, initially come from the compost bin. That's all I can figure. I'm going to check underneath the leaves of the edamame plants, too. Lady squash bug was hurting them pretty bad on the other side. I should stake this plant up a little bit like that. Okay, so you see why we're doing that? It's one, not one thing, it's another.